Dancing like you're smiling in the morning Following the linings on your cheeks Cause baby in your absence life is boring So I'll never leave Hello everyone and welcome to my sunny greenhouse. Uh, my name is Sabrina. You might know me on Instagram as Dovery Plants and this is my greenhouse in Budapest, Hungary. I'm an American expat living in Budapest for around four and a half years and I think three and a half years of those have been a succulent obsession. Uh, yeah, as you can tell, I need a whole greenhouse for them. This is how crazy it's gotten. And I just wanted to take you guys kind of with me on a day working in the greenhouse. It's spring here in Hungary, so I thought uh, this is the perfect time to kind of show you guys what I'm up to. And I just want to know that the greenhouse is an absolute mess right now because I haven't had time to organize it as much as I would like. Even now, some of the plants are only getting their first watering since uh, the fall which is crazy, but it's okay. They're succulents, they will survive. I'm also dealing with a pest, a small pest infestation, uh, mealybugs, and I wanna show you guys maybe how I treat them. Maybe it will help you out if you're experiencing the same thing, but I just wanted to kind of take you with and show you around, so here we go. It's easier to miss you by my side. we can see the leaves are very they're not very plump right and if we kind of just squeeze them like this you see how many wrinkles are there that means that the plant is super thirsty and that's probably true because this plant hasn't had any water since November and it's now April so that one deserves a big drink as I said I'm still kind of tidying up from the winter I guess I haven't had a lot of time lately to get out to the greenhouse, so I've just been trying now to get everybody watered and healthy looking. Here's another one. As we can see, if we kind of squish the leaf, you see how easy it is to squish them. That means that he is thirsty. I want to show you one that isn't thirsty. I'll I wanted to show you an example as well of a plant who isn't thirsty. So I'm just squeezing the leaf and you see that I cannot really move it. It's very plump, it's very hard. So this plant is not thirsty. I don't know if you guys can tell, but already this plant has absorbed water. Like it's already wet and I literally just put it in there like a minute ago. So you can tell that the, these guys were really thirsty. And that's one of the things I love about bottom watering because it really makes sure that the plant absorbs enough water I find that if I just water them, like from the top, the water can run through. But with bottom watering, you're really ensured that the plant will get enough water. How cute is this guy? And his little handmade pot. If 
Finally, there's a little bit of shade in the greenhouse, which is really nice because when it's sunny, it gets super hot, as you can imagine. Uh, right now, I'm checking all of the plants. These are the plants from my collection, by the way. Um, I'm just checking if they need water, if they have any dead leaves, um, if they have mealybugs, hopefully not. And I like to just check them thoroughly every time I water them. That's why I kind of like take them off the shelf, pick them up, take them to the water. I'm kind of complicated, I know. Probably I could just hose them down. But I like to give them kind of like the little love that they deserve, I feel like. So I'm just doing that now. my goals with my plants was not to purchase any new ones that was kind of like my downfall last year I was buying a lot of new plants because I had this big new greenhouse and I was like yeah finally I have space for my plants so I can buy more plants but uh, definitely I'm kind of regretting that mainly also because I think a lot of the bugs which uh, I'm dealing with now came from those plant purchases, unfortunately. So that kind of sucks, but I think I learned my lesson and now this year I'm kind of just focusing on getting them under control, getting all my plants happy because as I said, I have plenty of plants. And I won't, I don't plan on buying any, which I don't think it will be that hard because I really feel now lately like you know, it's enough and I want to like focus on the ones that I have because in the past I was really like, you know, wanting every new succulent, I wanted to collect them all and I don't know, I'm just really not into that anymore, I'm trying to be a lot more smart with my money and I'm trying to be more sustainable, I don't know if you can say that not buying plants is sustainable but kind of is I guess, like somehow and yeah, I want to focus on making the plants I have really beautiful and big. I want to uh, cut them and propagate them and kind of get like big bushy pots of succulents. That's like my dream right now. And I have a few, so I'm really happy, but I want to have more of especially like my favorite plants. I want to really make them nice. and. I also, I think not for this year, but uh, definitely for next year, but doing my goals this year will help get me on track for this goal, but I want to pollinate a lot of plants as well. Um, I showed you a few clips, or I can show you now, of my hybrids. Uh, I'm really, really proud of them. I started uh, pollinating last year and planting the seeds, and quite a few were successful, so I'm really really proud of that and I definitely don't want to buy any more outside plants I just want to you know create my own hybrids and my own breeds and I think that's something which can be a lot more rewarding than just ordering plants online and having them show up with mealybugs and this guy has a mealybug I'm really sick of them so um, to treat the mealybugs now I've just been using like a paintbrush and I have a 70% alcohol from the pharmacy I'm using that and if it's like a bad infestation I've been spraying them down with um, a spray which is specifically for mealybugs I bought it on Amazon I'll definitely show you that later as well because I do have a few that I want to spray and but for now I just want to go through these ones, these are some of the less affected plants. I think mostly my collection, it wasn't really, mm, well, that's kind of a lie, so. But okay, I think most of my collection plants are okay. Like I said, a lot of the plants that I ordered came with uh, 
of mealybugs and now I feel like a lot of the plants which were like around those ones because you know I was not very smart and I kind of just put them all together in the greenhouse which you really shouldn't do if you get new plants you should uh, quarantine them but you know I kind of checked them over and I thought they were fine but in reality they weren't but whatever that's also my mistake but yeah so I'm just going through all of them I'm keeping a close eye out I really do feel like I'm starting to get it under control I was really like depressed about it for a while because I felt like I felt like, you know, it's impossible to treat all of them because as you can see now, like, what I'm doing, I'm doing, like, very manually and to do this with hundreds of plants, it's not really, like, doable, especially because uh, mealybugs, they love to hide in between the succulent leaves and succulents grow really compact, as you probably know. And it's just really hard to like actually see where they are and this spray what I bought is really nice because you like spray the rosettes and it like seeps in between the leaves where the mealybugs hide and it's um, I think it's paraffin oil and it kind of like suffocates the mealybugs which is cool like I don't know that sounds really mean but I hate them so I really don't care and yeah I've been finding that it's been working really well uh, most of the plants, the mealybugs that I found on the plants after I sprayed them, they were uh, dead. So that's really cool to see that it's working. And those plants, there was only a few plants where I still found a few alive. And I think maybe it's just how I sprayed them because I kind of just did like a bulk spray. It wasn't very like precise. So I will be doing like a round two on some plants but I'm happy to say most of the plants look really nice. Um, the only problem with the spray is that it does remove the farnia which is the uh, like protective sun coating on the plants, the, the white powder. But you know I don't really care because I'm happy to have like healthy plants than pretty plants. As I said uh, this year is the year of getting all my plants happy and healthy and beautiful looking eventually. I'm not in a rush. I, th I definitely think that it's helped that I haven't really been using Instagram anymore for my plants. I'm kind of taking a break. I used to post on my Instagram like every day maybe. It was also, you know, my business. Now I'm not really doing it full time anymore. So that also helps with like not being on Instagram. And I think being on Instagram a lot and like the plant community, I feel like everybody is always buying the, the hottest, newest plants from Korea, which costs a lot of money. And I don't want to be spending that kind of money on overhyped plants. I know I have a lot of plants in my collection, which I don't even enjoy. I just bought them because, you know, I felt like I had to have them all. Oh, the sun is coming back. That's nice. Uh, so I felt like, you know, I have to have all of the plants to be popular, to get likes. And I really, I don't care about that anymore. I think that's really nice. You know, I want to focus. I think I will start to post on Instagram again, again definitely. But it's nice to have, like, a break from it and not really have to worry about, uh, you know, that kind of thing. Because it can be quite a toxic environment, even though the plant community is quite a nice one. Just, you know, it can be toxic, the likes, the, the plants, what other people have, just, it's like that. Uh, I finished now these plants, so I'm gonna give them some water. This is the spray that I'm using now on the mealybugs. I ordered it from Amazon Germany and it's working super well, like I said. So I just want to show you how to use it.
so I've just finished uh, this whole shelf behind me. I uh, cleaned all the dead leaves, I watered them, I put the plants aside that had mealybugs and I'm going to treat them separately but now is the fun part of like organizing and here I'm planning to keep, uh, it's kind of like a mixture of stuff, I have my seeds there and I also have a majority of the plants which I'm planning to sell because I plan to put all of my like collection on the wooden shelves. Um, not the they're all wooden shelves, but uh, they're like pyramid wooden shelves. So I'm planning to put the collection there and kind of the plants that I have for sale in this area. So I'm just gonna go ahead and organize it. And I've been thinking about good times. So tell me all your words I'm a servant to my magic side. I was in a magic city, going 50 50. I bet it all up on that red, and they got real shifty. Pity, pity, it's a petty crime. You see how people change their vibe when it's green up on their mind. Kevin fed a line, but fuck if I know. I'm searching for them high notes. I'm slipping in my slippers, playing samples off this vinyl. Getting better every motherfucking session with my freshness. This is imperfection, but it's such a perfect. No, I fucking murked it. At the merchants, and I purchased what my curses in between these verses. I how I really feel. Time. So tell me, are you worth organizing it now I'm not sure if I'm happy with it but it's fine for now I'm sure I will reorganize it again uh, basically all of the plants which are on this shelf are plants that I'm gonna sell and the shelf is like um, plants that I'm planning on keeping and my seeds and uh, the shelf is like some of my bigger plants and on the bottom are some propagations and yeah here are my seeds All of these plants I just separated earlier and I decided these ones are ones that I'm going to keep. You can tell uh, there are some nice ones. Couldn't really part with them. And here are some bigger collection plants. Ideally I would like to find maybe better place for them because I feel like they could be like better displayed and down here are some propagations and they are so cute these are all from last year I think they're about a year old now which is not that great I need to go through the propagation trays next because for instance some of the leaves like this one uh, they just don't do anything and they're probably not going to, so I'm gonna clear space because I plan on propagating more soon. So we need all the space we can get. So look at these juicy beans. I love them. Oh my god, and this one, guys. Look how amazing this one is. This one is grape javaria tie I don't know how to say it, but that was all leaves. Isn't that crazy? So now the plans what I have for sale. If you guys are interested, I do ship within the EU. 
And I'll just go kind of quickly so you can see them. I have a nice mix going on here, I feel like. And there's a lot of really nice colors and flowers right now, so they're super enjoyable. Here are some of the bigger plants. I'm not sure if I'm going to sell all of these yet, but I have enough plants, so I really should get rid of some, but it's so hard because they're my babies. Wait, this tray? I want. I plan on keeping these ones. These ones are in the wrong spot. These ones are mine. Oh, these plastic trays. I've been using them for so long, literally like years now. And they are falling apart. One of these days they're just going to break on me and everything's going to fall everywhere. So, that's everything. I think it looks nice. And there are some plants for sale up on that shelf, but that's fine, we'll just leave them there. I do have a few more things, obviously, to pack away, so I'm pretty sure this empty space is gonna fill up really fast. Finally, it's cooled off a little bit in the greenhouse. When I came in here this morning, it was 39 degrees Celsius. I was sweating, but now it's even a little bit chilly. So it's funny, obviously, how big of an effect the sun can have on the heat in here. It gets so hot sometimes, and I'm just like sweating it out. Uh, we do have an air conditioning, which also doubles as a heater uh, in the greenhouse, which is super great, but I try not to use the AC unless it's like really, really hot, or I just, yeah, I'm quite used to it now, working in the heat. And I would say, yeah, we mainly use it in the winter for heating, and we also have like a fan. Um, I would say we use the fan more and we have like an extra heater in the winter as well when it gets below like minus 12 we start to need to use that but overall like uh, we found that the greenhouse is pretty insulated like it's really good at keeping the heat and the succulents they love it inside here like I was so worried when we first got the greenhouse but they are really thriving which is so great to see. Thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far. Uh, if you like this kind of content, please leave a like. And if you have any ideas for future succulent themed videos, please leave a comment down below because I would love to make more videos if you guys enjoy this kind of thing. And uh, yeah, don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you're on there, Dupri Plants. And look forward to the next video.